The Russian attack on Ukraine is personal for a south side Indianapolis family. WRTV's Rafael Sanchez reports on the couple concerned with the chaos and calamity. Thomas Wright is making music. But these days, the orchestra director at Southport High School is orchestrating ways to keep Anton safe and alive. Anton is a young man trapped in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. Thomas and his wife Beth have been working on adopting him. These days, they're watching every national news outlet to text Anton where the Russians are going so that he can move in the opposite direction. During our Zoom interview, they were texting with Anton. It's happening all hours of the day. You know, I mean, even during this interview, I mean, he, he's in absolute disbelief that they're being attacked by their, their brothers, that they have so much in common. It is the most helpless feeling in the world. If I could just get there and get him, you know, then I could, you know, I could figure that out. But you're trying to do this via text messages, you know, things in old caps, you know, he would, oh, dear God, help me. You know, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. I mean, just, you know, that 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 crying out for, you know, um, you know, a divine, <laughs> you know, help. And, um, you know, Dad, what do I do? Dad, where, what, you know, where should I go? Before the pandemic, Anton had visited Indianapolis. He and the Wrights formed quite the bond. Anton even took some classes at Southport High School before returning to Ukraine. We have nothing against Russia. But we do have something against bombing your brothers. The rights have been supporting him by sending him money. Now they're committed to making sure he survives. Yeah. Pray. You know, pray, I mean, praying for the people of Ukraine, praying for, for, for Anton. Working for you, Rafael Sanchez, WRTV.